Hey, what's going on, Aries? Uh, Butch Tarot here. I'm going to do your one week read. Uh, I, I spent the last few days being a little sick, so I'm going to sound a little different, but the message is the same. <laughs> um, I'm. This is a general read. Uh, it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. And we have a little bit of a treat. Um, one of our subscribers, or one of our community members, sent me this really cool deck. Um, it is the Supernatural from the TV show. I don't know if you guys, I don't know how many of you watch it, but I, I actually, I don't really watch many shows, but I actually, I didn't mind it. I, I, I got into it. I enjoyed it. It's my guilty pleasure. Uh, I like things like that, so I appreciate it. Uh, Robin, if you're watching, I know, I'm pretty sure she's a Pisces, so you may not watch this, but we'll get there. Uh, with that being said, let's get it. Universe, what do we have? What is going on for Aries? All right, Aries. So the first thing I see, Aries, is I feel like we are in uh, Mercury retrograde, and I, and I feel like it can be very a very touchy time. You know, I, I do feel like this may be affecting this read a little bit in the fact that I feel like there is someone... Now, this is someone from your past. I feel like this is someone that I feel like it's very complicated. You know, I feel like you have a very complicated history with this person. And I feel like it is a burden that you, you carry. You know, this person is a burden. You know, I, I feel like it's something that we've been holding on to. I mean, we have that devil card, that Capricorn energy. I feel like there is somebody that we're holding on to. And I feel like no matter the no matter which way you look at it, it always ends the same. You know, we have that three, uh, three, three of swords. You know, that it's that heartbreak. I feel like it's never going to be what you expected it to be. And this is never going to be what you want it to be. And it's not any fault of yours. It's just this person is not allowing you in. You know, they're not allowing you to have that piece of them that you want. You know, I get a very guarded energy from this past person. You know, I feel like they may let you in a little bit, but then they shut the door just as quick. But that's not what we want to focus on. This reading is not about this past person. This is just the first thing I'm getting. You know, I feel like this this is something that it's an endless cycle that's just never going to get anywhere. And I feel like it's it's holding you back. It's that feeling of defeat. It's that feeling of being, you know, that that devil energy having you restrained. You know, wanting something but never actually being able to achieve it. But with that, with that past person, what we need to know is like, like I said, with that Mercury retrograde, you know, sometimes people that, 
the best thing to do during Metro, uh, Mercury retrograde is to let go of of that negativity. We want to keep in positive vibes. You know, having people around us that that spark negativity is not what we need right now. But what you're not seeing, you know, what you're not seeing, there is someone else around you. Now, this is a fairly new energy, but there, it is it is still there. You know, it's still apparent. And you may not be seeing it because you're still stuck in this past person. You're you're still stuck in that energy. You know, feeling like you need to achieve it. But we have to close that door to allow, to allow this new door to open up. And, and I mean, with this new door, this new person, it's someone who knows what they want. You know, this is someone very confident. They know what they want with that. You know, the King of Bones, I'm not really sure why we call it Bones in this deck. Uh, it, it, it is it is the ones. Uh, but that King of Bones, this person coming in, they know what they want. They're very confident. You know, I feel like this person has already had their eye on you. And I feel like you may not be aware of it quite yet because of the fact that this past person is still, their energy is still lingering in your life. But so, like I said, we have to close that door in order for us to advance you know, some doors just weren't meant to stay open. Now, with this new person, I feel like it is still fairly new for them. You know, these feelings that they have. But it, it is definitely a feeling of love. You know, I, I definitely feel like you have their attention. We have new love and that, that page of cups. It's very new. But we know where the old road leads. You know, this is a new road. And this person knows what they want. They know what they're after. They know what they're looking for. And I feel like that's where the difference lies here. Like I said, this person's very confident. Very nurturing energy coming from this person. You know, it's 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 a night and day situation. With one, you have, you know, this repetitive, you know, circle that never really goes anywhere. You know, I feel like it, it you know, there's a lot of energy, a lot of, Passion and energy, I feel like you have a lot in common with that per that past person. You know, you have history with them. But sometimes history isn't enough. And that's what I see with that past person. The history isn't enough. You know what I mean? There's no... Having history... I mean, we see the devil card, and, and I'm going to use that, that line. Uh, you know, sometimes it's the devil you know. And I feel like that past person, you know them, you're comfortable with them. And I feel like that's the only thing that's really holding you together. That, you know, that's the only thing really hold, helping you hold on to that person. But you're not getting anywhere with that person. You're not getting what you deserve. And I don't feel like you ever will. But with this new person, yeah, it's new. But there's so much promise there. You know, I feel like we have to... You're not seeing it because of this past person, but you have the options. There's options there with that seven of cups. You know, there's a new option right here in front of you. There's new stability. There's new, it's all, you know, we have that new stability. And it's something that I feel like you need to nurture. You know, we have the star card. It's all about nurturing. It's all about giving new opportunities a chance. And I feel like if you give that new opportunity a chance, it, it, it's going to open up. There's going to be a lot of forward movement. It's going to be, you know, it's going to open up a lot of not, new opportunities for you. You know, and, and that fool card is the beginning of a journey. You know, I feel like in order for one journey to begin, you have to allow other journeys to end. You know, some... With that past, I feel like a very karmic energy. I just feel like it, 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 has, it had a shelf life and it... And it exceeded that. And I feel like you're never really going to get what you want from that because it's never it was never really meant to be anything more than what it was. You know, like I said, I, I do feel like it's, it is going to be an endless cycle that's never really going to amount to anything. It's not, gonna, it's not going to give you the fulfillment that you need, that you desire. There is a connection there. I'm not going to deny that. I do see a connection with that past person. But... I don't see it going where you want it to go. You know, I don't see you getting what you deserve from that. And with this new person, yes, it's new, but I do see 
a lot of great things. I, I see a lot of balance coming with this person. You know, very, very confident, you know, very intelligent and also very loving. You know, they're offering you something that past person never offered you. Now with this new person as well, I'm not going to say this is going to be, you know, with that, with that queen of swords, very, very outspoken. This person is going to be very, very outspoken and, and very to the point. But I feel like when we're in, when we're in a situation where like with that past person, I feel like it was never really, it was never really clear. There's no clarity of what was going on. You know, it was just kind of like an endless cycle that just keep going on and on. You know, it really never had a beginning or an end. And I feel like the end is it has already passed. I feel like we just ignored it because we wanted it so bad. And I feel like until we let that go, we're not going to see what's right in front of us. And what is right in front of us is this new person that's offering you something that you that you haven't gotten from that past person. You know, and I and I feel like this person is offering offering you more than you know. You know, the offer is going to come with that Knight of Cups. You know, I do see an offer of commitment. This person knows what they want. It's the beginning of a journey. And I see a lot of happiness because, we, I mean, we have the Sun card. You know, sometimes we don't we don't always have to do what, what's best for everybody else. We just have to feel what's best for us. And I feel like this is something that is for you. This person coming towards you, they want you. You know, this person wants to make you happy. It's it's very new, but yet I feel like there's a lot of fulfillment to come from it. You know, we can't allow ourselves to be held back by something that doesn't need, you know, that, that devil card represents that, those shackles to me. You know, being chained down, being being almost forced to comply to what someone else wants and that's not what that Aries energy is about Aries energy is about getting what you want and this person coming towards you is offering you more than that past person has ever offered you and it's all off that's all still in the beginning they're already offering you they're going to be offering you more than you ever got from that other person and they're going to be very upfront there's no bullshit with this person they're going to tell you what they want and what they say is what they mean. Very authentic energy from, coming from this new person. You know, they're very confident in themselves. They bring balance to the table. You know, I see happiness. I, you know, all I'm seeing is, is forward movement. And like I said, that nurturing energy. You know, we have other offers, but sometimes we get so caught up in a past person because that person we have history and sometimes that history can be very confused with, you know, sometimes when we have history, we get comfortable. Being comfortable sometimes can get confused with being happy. And I feel like there may have been happy times with that past person, but it's not enough to keep you happy in general. And like I said, this new person, it, there's a very nurturing energy from this person. If you allow them in, and you allow that that to grow. I, I do see a lot of promise here. I do see a lot of good things coming from this. A lot, a lot of forward movement. Like I said, it's the beginning of a new journey. And I feel like it's time for that journey to begin. And like I said, with Mercury retrograde, um, you know, we, we have to surround ourselves with positive vibes. It's time for a change. And the change is coming. This person wants to be with you. You know, and I and I feel like all they want is a chance. You know, and I feel like it's time to give someone new a chance because I feel like that old, that past person, that past energy that you may be holding on to, I feel like it has never really paid off and I don't feel like it ever will. You know, I, with this new person, we have a lot of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and we also have that Capricorn energy as well. You know, it, 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 sometimes we get in a situation where we think we're happy enough. If you're with somebody and you feel like you're happy enough and the word enough comes into your mind, you know, it's not enough. 
You know, if, if you have to add on the word enough to you're happy, there's more out there for you. You know, they make me happy enough. If, if you've ever said that, or if I'm happy enough, the word enough doesn't, doesn't come into being happy. I'm happy. They make me happy. That's it. The enough part is the part you need to be worried about. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.